Have you ever wondered if you might be a robot? If I might be a robot? What if, what if everybody could be a robot, possibly? Including yourself? That is an important question. How do you know that you're a real person? How do you know that you aren't created? Maybe you're just like a, a robotic sentience that's programmed in. Um, of course, you know that you're not a robot because you bleed. But what if robots can bleed? <gasps> that is a fundamental question that this book asks. Holy cow, it's an amazing book. Uh, this is a science fiction book. Some people don't love science fiction. Sometimes people are reluctant. They're like, oh, there's robots, and then there's like space and all that kind of stuff, and I don't like robots in space, so I'm not gonna like this. Um, anyone who says that is a kind of lame. But robots in space force us to ask questions about what it is to be human, what it is to live on Earth, what it is to like just care about anything, and why do we exist? And that is the key question that do and Android's Dream of Electric Sheep asks us to think about, and it is by Philip K. Dick, a guy with an unfortunate name. What if robots were walking around and you could not tell the difference between robots and human beings, unless you kind of got really deep inside to the point that you killed them? This tells the story of a guy, his job, he is a bounty hunter who hunts and kills robots because they should not be mixed in with the regular population. That is his job, and he never really knows for sure if it's a robot or a human, and he's trying to figure out, but he's never quite sure if he's got it right or not, and even after they're dead, he's still not totally clear if they're robots. It's an important thing to think about. It's an important thing to just, like, tackle. What makes a thing human? And what makes that human thing worthy of uh, our love, our acceptance, of respect, of rights, of all these different kinds of things? Like, if your job was to go and kill humanoid robots because they're robots, but you can't tell the difference between humans and robots, are you maybe kind of killing a human being? Like, what are the ethics of killing a robot? Like, why is it okay to kill a robot but not a human, even though they feel and do and all the other kinds of things the same thing? Um, that's what you need to think about as you read this book and really, like, just mull that over. Like, what does it mean to be a human being? What does it mean to be a person who deserves rights? At what point does a non-human thing deserve the same rights as a human being. Some people will tell you, oh, well, animals, they deserve rights. And of course, when we say animals, we mean uh, dogs and cats and uh, maybe birds and maybe some mammals, uh, insects, not so much, mm, crows and pigeons and seagulls, mm, maybe not. Uh, some people are like, that ah, fish, they don't have feelings. But like, why, what are those reasons? Why are our reasons like drawn out that way? Why do we treat some species differently than we treat other species? And at what point will human-made creations get to that point that we no longer feel okay just treating them the way that we treat our toasters or our cell phones or whatever? Like, what, if, what happens when we get to the point where Siri is human-like, where we can carry on like a real conversation and, and Siri seems to express herself with feelings and thoughts and emotions. That is why you need to read this book. That is why you need to think hard things. That is why you need to watch more movies. Uh, these are the questions that we should be thinking about as we kind of like think of ourselves as an increasingly futuristic society uh, moving forward. Are we going to care about robots more than we care about the far off people in different continents. Wow, that's a, that's an important question too. Um, so please, 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 by all means, I would so recommend this book. And I can honestly not really believe that it took me until this point in my life to read this book. Uh, don't do make the same mistake. Read it today.